Konami just announced Rarity Collection 3. Sort of. What is up, everybody? I was not expecting to make a news video today, but honestly, I should have been. Do you remember Rarity Collection 1? I don't even remember what the time period was that they announced Rarity 2. It was like right after, like literally right after. We knew there was a Rarity 2 within like a month, a month and a half, something like that. After how kind of everybody reacted to Rarity 2, I didn't expect Rarity 3 to come soon after. And I was right. They haven't announced Rarity 3, but this came, I saw House of Champs tweet about this. So I went over to the Konami website to see what this is all about. The quarter century Bonanza is the name of this product. And at first I was like, oh cool, a new like idea of product. And I read like one line, I'm like, wait a second. Is this just, was this supposed to be Rarity 3? And then they realized people didn't like Rarity 2, so they changed a few things about, I'm not sure. Let's take a look at this. Quarter Century Bonanza released November 7th. That's kind of similar to when Rarity 1 came out, right? Every six months we have Rarity 1, Rarity 2. Quarter Century Bonanza, whatever that is. Quarter Century Bonanza picks up where the Rarity Collection sets left off, literally. Literally, where they left off, it's basically saying this is Rarity 3 with a bunch of new twists. So it's Rarity 3, but they twist, twist some things off. That sounded weird. Get ready for a wild ride. Time for everyone to hit the jackpot. Quarter century, I mean, you did that in Rarity already. Quarter century Bonanza picks up with the Rarity collection sets left off with a bunch. We got it, we got a, a small, small text error here. There's no space between collection sets. Poggers? With a bunch of new twists, get ready for a wild ride because we've got a lot to unpack. Here's what's next. Quarter century Bonanza packs are five cards per pack. Huh, like the first rarity collection. Interesting, that sounds familiar, but we've replaced one super rare in every pack with a guaranteed luxury secret rare, platinum or quarter century. So you get a quarter century or a platinum every pack. This is sounding very familiar. You didn't get that in rarity. This is literally, this, this, you can't eat. They're not even trying to hide it. This is just Rarity 3. They just didn't want to call it Rarity 3 because Rarity 2 was like a little iffy and people were like, eh. And people like me are like, maybe stop printing Rarity Collection every six months. They were like, you know what? You're right. We don't need to print Rarity Collection every six months. How about Quarter Century Bonanza? Huh? The guaranteed luxury secret rare in each pack is from a special and separate 200. Okay, what? Okay. This is, I did see something about this. Guaranteed luxury secret rare in each pack is from a special and separate 200 card nostalgia pool. Wait, is this? Rarity Collection Old School? This might actually be cool. Available only in this Luxury Secret Rare slot, so you could only get them in Platinum or Quarter Century Secret Rare, and is independent from the standard 78 card set that's- Oh no. <laughs> if we try to complete this set, 200 independent cards in that slot? Oh, okay, that might be tough. But think about it, if there's only those cards though, Maybe it's not that hard. I'm not sure. Quarter Century Bonanza is two sets in one. This is actually a cool idea. Okay, like I started off with a little bit of hate. There's still a little bit of hate to come, but this is cool. A whole separate slot that has a completely different set in it, basically. That's actually kind of exciting. We're printing this 200 card nostalgia pool because Quarter Century Secret Rares are only here during the 25th anniversary. Okay, Konami. Do I need to really rant about this again? Quarter Century Secret Rares are only here during the 25th anniversary. Does that mean it's ending? We're printing this 200 card Nostalgia Pool. Okay, Nostalgia Pool. This better have like Edison, Goat, a lot of cool stuff. Like everything should have, I mean, there's 200 cards. Everything should have a print. Like, I mean, any card you could think of. Delinquent Duo, that should have one. Uh, probably a bunch of Edison stuff should have one. I mean, there should be a bunch. There better be a Blue Eyes. There better be some good stuff in here. Oh, and um, what are the chances of Amazia in here? Just throwing that out there. I'm just, just throwing it out there. I don't think it will be. It's a little too soon, but at the same time, they're printing another rarity collection six months after the first two. So whatever, who knows? Who really does? I'm not going to lie, though. I am excited for 200 card nostalgia pool, bunch of QCRs. This will be a really fun set to complete. I think it's pretty interesting. Let's keep going. We know there are a lot of cards you want to see as QCR. Oh, yeah, I didn't get to finish my rant. When the heck does the 25th anniversary end? I'm guessing this is ending then if we're doing a 200 card nostalgia pool, but everyone has been speculating maybe it's gonna go until the 30th anniversary. So like, if you were saying, oh man, we gotta get these prints out quick, better hurry up because if we don't, you guys might miss it in the next four years. I'm assuming that it's ending soon if they're if they're talking like this, but knowing them, that could just be bait. Let, okay, rant over. The last call for a quarter century secret rares is coming, so let's kick everything into overdrive starting right now. Oh wait, there it is. I just should have kept reading. Yu-Gi-Oh player. The last call for quarter century secret rares is coming. So I'm guessing maybe the end of the year. That's the end of quarter centuries. That would be interesting. So are they gonna go back to starlights? That's the question. Let me know in the comments. Do you think they'll go back to starlight rares after QCRs? 
I, I feel like it just won't work though because they've had like so much easier chase cards and now like well not easier in Magia everything but like you know ratios but like you were actually pulling them a lot more per case starlights would be pretty brutal like I love starlights but seeing what they've done and reprinting all of them I don't really want to see them again I feel like it's just gonna is destined to get reprinted we've never reprinted a card that has a quarter century secret ever oh, this is targeted bro this is targeted. We've never reprinted a card that's a quarter century secret rare version in the same rarity ever. And we're not going to... Okay, first of all, this is not true. Secret rare version, okay, it, they have. They've done alt arts. It's the same card. Just looks, there's a different, there's a different picture on it. Okay, okay. And we're not going to start. Also, quarter century started last year. How are you gonna reprint them? They just came out. Like if you had reprinted them already, that would be insane. Like you're like, the first quarter century comes out, six months later you reprint it, like that would be the dumbest thing ever. Well, I'm glad to hear that they're not gonna do it. Also, I really wanna know though, even with, with, with uh, technicalities aside, how, ch how much can we count on this? In the same rarity ever and we're not going to start in the same rarity ever and we're not going to start. I wanna read that one more time. We have never reprinted a card that is a quarter century secret rare version. Let's not count alternate arts. Yeah, okay, no semantics. In the same rarity ever and we're not going to start. Is this like reserved list level stuff? Like Magic the Gathering? Like it's not because it's, cause they could just, I feel like they could just go back on this. Like they could just say, you know what? We said that 10 years ago, but, but here's the thing. Why would they print a 25th anniversary? 35 years from now. So the interesting thing about this, this is some interesting collector stuff. So if they're not going to reprint quarter century secret rares ever, and you want to start gathering some secret rares for your collection, you apparently can feel safe that they're not going to get reprinted. The thing is, they can just make it a 30th anniversary print. They can make it a 35th anniversary print. So there will be other versions that are similar, kind of like they did with Starlights. But they are telling us they're not going to print them again in quarter century secret rare, which is pretty interesting. So that's kind of cool for them to actually say that we're not going to start reprinting them. Keep that in mind. If you're a collector and you want to buy something that's not going to get reprinted, Konami, if you believe them or not, they have said they're not going to reprint them ever. So that's pretty interesting. This has kept some cards which have quarter century secret rare versions out of products like Rarity Collection in the past. Yeah, because you already printed them in quarter century secret rare. We're going to get around to this by including cards in this pack that already have quarter century secret versions like Super Poly, Promethean, uh, Bestower of Flames, and Diabelle Star, the Black Witch. We'll just leave them out of the quarter century secret rare pool. I, they're being very transparent here. I actually like this. They're saying, look, we want to put these cards back in because we know that you guys want more Super Polys and Promethean Princess. Pretty cool because Prometheum Promethean Princess needs a reprint, but we're not going to reprint the QCRs. They're thinking about people that have QCRs, collectors, and they're also thinking about the players of the game who want the game, the cards cheap. So this is, they're looking at both sides, which is actually very unusual for Konami, very cool. We'll just keep them out of the quarter century secret rare pool. Cards like this will still be available in the QCR Bonanza as platinum secret rares, prismatic collector rares, and ultimates. So they have, okay, another thing, I didn't see, I, we haven't seen this yet. They have prismatic collector rares and ultimate rares and super se ultra secrets. This is literally rarity collection. What they did basically is Konami, saw the issues of Rarity Collection 2, and they're like, we're not gonna do the exact same things in Rarity 3, but we are gonna do Rarity 3 in six months. I actually like this. I like what they're doing so far. I think they're I think they're thinking. I think they're using their brains here. Here's a chart to show what each quarter century bonanza pack looks like. Okay, chart. Little hard to see, luxury secret rare, super, ultra, ultra secret. Okay, so these are the slots. So one will be always platinum or quarter century. One will always be super. One in six to be ulti or collector. One in six to be ulti or collector. One in four to be platinum or quarter century. So you can get two quarter centuries still. But that's cool. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to do that. From the separate 200 card nostalgia pool and also a luxury secret rare, platinum or quarter century. From the main card pool available as rarity. Okay, so this one right here will always be the 200 card nostalgia pool. And then these down here could be quarter century, but some of the cards cannot be quarter century because they're not from the nostalgia pool, like Promethean Princess and stuff like that. Interesting. So you can get two. Some can be, some can't be. That's going to be way harder to make the binder this time to figure out what can and can't be. But uh, if we try to put this kid of this binder, there's going to be a lot more thinking in this one, but it sounds like it's going to be fun. All right, I didn't free finish reading this. Except cards previously recognized, QCRs will not appear in that rarity again, but will appear in other rarities. So basically, uh, the, the way we'll know is if it doesn't have a quarter century before, it will be in the set. If it does have a quarter century, it won't be in the set. Insert rates on these slots are the same as the original rarity collection. 
they're, it's literally rarity collection. Like they're, they're, they just changed the name to Bonanza or whatever. Drop rates are independent of each other, so you can and will get multiple luxury rares in slots B through E sometimes. The, the slot A luxury secret rares are independent of all these slots. You will always get that on top of any luxury rares from this set. Very cool. Is there a favorite card you want to see as quarter century secret rare before the anniversary period is over? Speak up, let everybody know. Okay, Konami, here's my chance. Here's my chance. Listen up, Konami. It seems like you might've been listening to my videos, which is pretty cool. So uh, if you are watching Konami, anything negative, just know it's because I want uh, you guys to do great. I want Yu-Gi-Oh to do great. And of course, I want some amazing cards like Pequeno Moth to get quarter century secret rare. So here's my list. Millennium Shield, if it's not in the current set coming out next week. QCR, the vanilla version. Petite Moth, Grande Moth, Larva Moth. You got this? You got all these? Any of these? Do me a favor. QCR, what else could I put that was actually a reasonable card? All right, look. Kidami, you've done a bunch. You have, you've done a bunch of cool QCRs. You have not done any like alternate art, blue eyes, dark magician, red eyes. Can we see those in here? In the nostalgia slot, can we see like the red eyes from Maximum Gold? Rah, 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 that guy. Can we see him in QCR? Can we see a blue eyes? Maybe a new artwork. Maybe a new artwork in QCR. That would be huge. Oh, by the way, I mentioned Magia might be in here. It's not in here because you know they already said if it has a QCR, it's not gonna be in here. So no Magia. But uh, that's fine. That's fine. We're going to pull it. We're going to pull it. It's no big deal. All of mine are vanillas. I, I just saw Summon Skull back there. I don't think that'd be a sweet QCR. Just nostalgia. Put some crazy old school cards in here. Like that don't, that suck in the game. Like I know players would be like, this sucks. Put it in the nostalgia pool. It's called a nostalgia pool. Vanillas. Give us vanillas. And please put the Canyon Moth in there. Please. Please. I will love you forever. Just like you will never reprint QCRs forever. See that? See how that works? All right, reminders of the terminology, our new technology. Yeah, okay, they're clarifying these are different than collector rares and all that, and the ultimate rares. So they did say that the ultimate rares are different than the OTS and stuff. Okay, exclusive to OTS packs. So honestly, this was a really interesting announcement. Basically, they're saying uh, we have released Rarity 3, but they rebranded it under a new skin. But at the same time, they changed it up from Rarity 1 to 2. They have some different things, and I really like the changes they made. They still have all the awesomeness of opening and getting multiple luxury rares. While they've mixed it in with the whole other card pool of nostalgia, they they basically gave us what seems like it's going to be a rarity collection old school collector slash old school player um pool mixed in with a playable side and this is like really amazing this is what i want in every set i want there to be a playable cool stuff i want there to be collectible cool stuff all mixed together so everybody can love the set and that seems like what's going to happen with a quarter century bonanza aka rarity collection 3 and i'm really hopeful for some of the qcrs in here because there's going to be 78 cards minus the ones that have uh, other QCRs, so I guess like maybe eight to 10 to 20 of those, so maybe like 70, 60 of those, plus the 200 card nostalgia pool. So there's gonna be like 260 QCRs. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna finish this set. It's gonna be really, really crazy, but it's gonna be so much fun. Uh, we've definitely gotta go crazy for this one. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be awesome. I cannot wait for this. I think that they actually crushed this. I think this is gonna be really cool. Let me know what you think down below. Do you think there's issues with this? I mean, obviously the same issue of they're reprinting a bunch of cards six months after they reprinted a bunch of cards is gonna happen, but it seems like they are locked in on this kind of strategy. And honestly, just with how fun Rarity Collection is and Bonanza or whatever, this is just gonna make it so much harder. Instead of Rarity 1, 2, 3, it's Rarity 1, 2 in the Bonanza. Honestly, with how well and how fun it is, I, I think it's gonna be cool. I know a lot of people didn't like Rarity 2 and they complained, but honestly, if you looked at the sales of everything, people liked it. I mean, we sold a ton of a ton of stuff with Sassy Auto. I could tell a lot of people liked the set. And I think this is gonna be even more fun. I mean, nostalgia. We should make a video. Let me know down below. Should we make a video speculating on the 200 note card nostalgia pool? like what we want to see in there. If you do want to see that, let me know down below. That's enough chatting today. I think we've rambled on enough. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more. 250K is coming up soon. Let's see if we can get there before the Bonanza on November 7th. I think we can do it. We need about 13,000 more subs. So hit that subscribe button. We will be opening every single pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. May or may not be opening Bonanza. We'll see if we get there first. Shout out to Tom Fosho, Ernesto Dian, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Chang Lang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.